Hello there, full of Dragon Terms, it's Luke here, and I'm back for another Minecraft Macho Gaze. Before I start, uh, sorry that I've, that I've been not going through, um, sorry that I've not, that I haven't been doing uh, Macho Gaze's for the last few weeks, so, so, in, so instead, it, it's because it was, it's, it's because something major was happening, so I just couldn't, uh, so I just couldn't, uh, like I was, I was very busy for the last few weeks and couldn't have the time to make the video, the videos. But now, but now I can make them. So yeah, basically, so we're, so basically, the this match of his is a sign word swords mod. And basically, what this mod, this mod introduces a swords. Um, and I need to turn this night because. Uh, Okay, so okay, so basically, it's like this: the uh, the swords, uh, the, the 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 sword. The, what I'm trying to say is the the sword, the swords have like the swords that this mod has is um is like uh has elemental powers. So so basically, I'll just um test the swords that are in the zombie now. Before I get on to testing the swords, there are three. There are three upgrades. The first one is just, is just the basic swords, and and basically you you can just craft them like like you can just cra craft them like the crafting arts please will be um like you use not enough items for this because because going over every single crafting recipe is is a uh, like in this mod is. It's kind of a, it's it's kind of, it's kind of um, it's it, it it's kind of inconvenient. So so uh, you can either get a uh, not enough items or just look up the uh the page in the description below where where you see uh the personal recipes for most of the swords, if not most all of them. So basically, this is the first year. And it's and it's like all the basic elements. So I'm so I'm just going to test it on on these zombies here. So so time to test things out. Okay, so basically there's a water sword, and basically when you hit some mob, no, nothing happens, but when you right click, it puts water around you. So if, so if you're on fire and so if you're on fire and you don't really want you to die and you happen to have this one in your hand you you can summon water to put uh, you out and and it gives you water breathing which is which is really cool um I'll, I'm also going to need uh, uh, buckets uh, just okay there we go that's that's more like it right? okay so so now that I have removed the effects I, I'm going to I'm going to uh, test out the uh, the the second tier of it, which is the ice sword. It, it is basically the second upgrade of the of the of the water sword. It it does nine attack damage, and this fighter happens to come to come across. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Just clear the weather, because man. It always comes in the worst possible times, but anyway, so this part just so happy to come along. So, so uh, it so it has more damage and it inflicts slowness uh, on the on the mob. Like, see, this part is moving slower. Uh, and when you right click the sword, uh, you can access summon ice uh, ice blocks along with with snow golem, which is really cool because you know trying to Try to like get ice and just uh like yeah, it just brings ice with you and um yeah and, and then the blizzard sword Mero and this this will the blizzard sword is more aggressive so uh, so this um okay so I couldn't show it because that jerk over there just just wouldn't. Just wouldn't stop attacking, so it inflicts uh, major slowness on the enemies, and it does a whole lot of damage. So that that's really cool. 
Um, and when you right click, I, and when you right click, you create uh, this four by four. Um, well, you create this ice structure as well. But, but for now, I'm just going to uh, put the sword away because I really don't want any of the swords just to destroy my chest. Well, yeah, I hope that I hope they aren't. There's no golem doesn't anger those creepers because I really don't want the chests to be destroyed. So, so up next are, are the earth are the earth swords. So basically, the earth sword is is basically is basically like um it's basically you summon dirt uh, around you, but you can also have some really cool effects. So, so it gives you resistance, which is good. So it's some. It's almost like things around you, and uh, yeah, now, okay, and now, now time to check the power of this thing, so it, so, not, not too bad, kills us only three hits, um, yeah, kills us, I think kills us one or three hits as well, uh, let me get rid of all this random stuff, and uh, so that we can get onto the next sword. All right, so uh, let's see here. So peaceful nature sword and wild nature sword. Okay, so though both those are up. Okay, so the peaceful nature sword is the second tier upgrade to the earth sword. And basically, when you right click this, um, it's almost clays instead of dirt. So, so, so if so if you so if you Hate trying to find the Mesa Bomb just to get hard clay. Well, you can get some hard clay right here, and it gives you resistance as well. Now, so here's it still gives the zombie three hits. Uh, not too bad, but not too great either. Uh, just let me remove this because that because then I can shoot the power, and I kept. Uh, and let me remove this as well. So that I can get onto the next one. Okay, so the next one is Wild Nature Sword. And it's a tier 3 upgrade to the Earth Sword. So basically when you when you right click, it summons cactuses. So basically if, if you have a horde of zombies that are like just like chasing you around and you and and you're like kinda um kinda surrounded, you can summon these and then it'll it'll just dam damage the zombies for you. However, I however just watch out for when you summon bees close to you because you you will take damage uh, when you touch when you touch cactus. So uh, let me remove this and then and then I'll just set it on this zombie right here. So it's st still st it's still three hits before a zombie goes down, but you know it's not too bad. Um, considering a diamond sword can do the same thing. So fire sword now there now some of these swords only has two. Uh, only has two um, two upgrades, and the first sword is a prime exa example of this. Now I want you to do this away from the chest because the chest because the chest is made out of wood. So um, uh, and I don't want you to burn down a whole forest. That would be horrible. Um, I'm just going to do it on this island right here for now. Um, so basically, so basically, this is a fire sword. So so when so when you right. So when you right click, I think it's supposed to give you fire resistance, but for now, uh, for for now, for now you, uh, I don't know if it has, but okay, seriously, zombie, get out of the water! Come on, get out of the water! There we go. So, so basically, when you hit them on this, it'll set them on fire. That's really cool. Just let me do this. There we go. So yeah, so yeah, you, you can have cooked pork chops with uh, the sword if you want. Like if you go to pig with, with this sword, you can have cooked pork chops. So the the second the second upgrade of this sword, like the first sword, is a meteor sword. So so um so I'll just spawn in a zombie and uh so when you right click a target, come on seriously, come on this. Come on, zombie, get out of the water, alright? 
This is why I don't search stress on. This is why I don't only try stress on mobs that are they're not caged. Okay, so so basically this zombie. It, it's going to get meter down, like. So it does quite a bit of damage, and uh, and it still and it still um causes a lot of damage. So okay, so now so now that the so now that that the fire stuff are out of the way for now, it's safe to get back here. So okay, so um so the darkness is a, is a thunder sword, and it has three upgrades to it as well. So um so the thunder sword um. So it gives you fire resistance for a, for a few seconds and uh, gives you speed. Wow. So so if you ever wanted to have the so I guess the fire resistance is so that you don't uh, take damage from the thunder. I guess it's I guess that's what it's there for. So let's do it. Okay. So thunder shock sword. So the second upgrade to the thunder sword. So. And it gives you speed as well, which is good. So, so oh, it does have the damage to, to a zombie. So, so um, so so now, so now it's time to upgrade the to see what the upgrade can do. For this is for a little bit more time, and uh, ah, uh, I made a mess over here. Alright. Okay, I need I need some kind of block to uh to do this, but but you get what I mean. About these swords being really powerful. Uh where okay. Ah, okay. Okay, um... Ah, finally, that water noise is, is over. Oh, and and, the, and I didn't even need to drink milk to get rid of the speed effect. So, so now, so now this is where um, it gets really powerful. The Thunder Zeus Sword. And, yeah, it has... Uh, and yeah, this sword is not to be taken lightly. No way. So, so if it, and in addition to inflicting major damage to a zombie, look at how much thunder it summons, and it gives you a little bit of resistance, and you know basically the same thing as a thunder sword, and it gives you major speed as well. So yeah, um, you also. So yeah, so that's why I got this milk bucket. So. Wind sword. This, this this one this one has a really a really funny effect. Like like for example, so you right click and you can jump. Gives you jump boost and speed. Um however when you hit a mob with it, yep, you send them away. <laughs> that's that's always funny. In addition to dealing major damage you you can just hit hits as like a like, like, if if you have loads of zombies just after you, you can just use this sword and hit all of them very far away. Which is what I find funny with this sword. Um. Now, let me get rid of the effect, and now let's test out the wind blast sword. So, so in it, so in addition to to causing explosions when when hitting the zombie, it gives you a little bit of resistance and then it gives you the same thing as the original wind sword does but oh man that's that's so satisfying just hitting a mob like out like very far away just so satisfying okay okay yeah let me get rid of the effect before I ah uh, okay there we go so get rid of the effect and um and now the third upgrade, the Wind Whirl Sword. So basically, this this sword. Um, okay. So basically, this sword does does all the 
the same thing that as the original one does. I. Except that it also flings mobs upward. How? How cool is that? Uh, let me just. Let me just. Uh, you know what? This you know this cousin is going to be. Wow, that's that's really powerful. Considering these swords, considering like these swords are really expensive to make, and do like I said, the craft recipes are going to be in it in the description below or mm, not enough items. So be the beast sword and the wolf sword. So so basically, it it does it. So two hits should kill a zombie, but but if, but if you right click with the sword, you summon wolves. And they're already tamed, so well one wolf and and it's already tamed, so so basically you can just hit the zombie and then basically the zombie will, will go down. Okay, so give speed two for you. However, be careful where you summon the uh the the wolf because uh yeah, be careful where you summon the wolf. So so that they won't suffocate, but gives you speed too, which is really cool. Um, it'll wear off. So, so the wolf sword. So basically, this this one is a is basically a better version of the beast sword. So it, it summons a lot of wolves, and a, and in addition to that, gives you speed four. Wow. Like I'm the fast. Wow, this makes me the fastest dragon of. In all of Minecraft, man, how? So this does uh, like ten damage to. So this is half a damage to zombie, but. So okay, so basically. So let me remove this effect. No, I wish let the wolves attack that zombie. And then I'll just um So Ender Sword. So basically the Ender Sword is, uh, is quite useful. However, it's only a two up it's a sword that only has uh two upgrades unfortunately, like two tiers of it. Um uh, just let me do this because I I just can't uh it's because I just have to um so so basically when you when you hit a zombie while well, it does eight damage I seen the um not the animation indicators though it's mark cursor yeah so when you right click oh you can teleport I yep just as I feared I teleported underwater but yeah it's 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 like it's like you don't have to keep killing Enderman just just you get their their ender portal so you can teleport and that ender portal sword. So I believe this one creates a portal. So I'm going to do this far away so it doesn't destroy my chest. So oh wait no no okay I thought what the heck okay I thought I found a stronghold then but but yeah you just but yeah it just uh, mix eyes, just throws eyes of Ender for you. <laughs> oh, I, I like that. Just throwing this the mob up into the sky. Actually, actually, let me see if if this is possible. But nah, what a shame. It's by far one of my favorite things to do to a mob. Like just, just, just throw them up on the sky and just and just have them take fall damage. But it does a little bit. It does a decent amount of damage as well. So now the light sword. Um. So the light sword basically, you uh, it gives it gives you night vision, which is really cool. So. So just. So it it. So so, so it gives them major slowness, I believe. As well. So. But it's upgrade the. The net, the light nether sword, the light nether sword, uh, can do a whole lot more. So, 
It gives you absorption and regeneration. You know, regeneration for a little, for just a, a little bit, but absorption for for uh, 30 seconds, which is a long time, Minecraft. Which is which is a long time in in Minecraft. I'm, so this uh, now the dark sword. Now this one is 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 kind of work kind of worries me because because of how uh, because this one kind of worries me because look it blinds you it like well it puts blindness true on you invisibility and night vision blindness and night vision do not mix well together so yeah so you shouldn't yeah so yeah I shouldn't use a sword but the dark nether sword oh yeah one more thing. I couldn't show it the right way because of these. Okay, so it gives so it gives a wither effect uh, to mobs, which which is also cool. So so a uh, dark nether sword. Um. So the dark nether sword, in addition to giving um the wither effect to the mod, you. You can throw a uh, wither skulls at at stuff. So basically, uh, yeah, this tank tank damage. There we go. There we go. Kill that skeleton. So, so yeah. It, so it basically gives you a blindness shoot for for split second, but then. But then it, it, but then it, it just uh, makes ma makes it um, but 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 it's all worth it once you shoot wither schools at, at your enemies. But but now but now here comes the uh well my but here comes the, my favorite parts uh, of the mod. You have combining swords. So let me. Uh, put these okay so basically there's there are there are like um there are nine uh combined well there are nine actual swords and this one is like the most powerful of them ironically so so I'm gonna test all these eight well I'm gonna test all of these out all, all of these swords but 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 here's but here's uh, the cool thing. So the elemental sword handle is actually using the recipe for uh, for most of these swords. So um, yeah. Uh, and the mixed essence, you just um, it's used to make the science sword, which I'm going to show you later. And um, to to make the and to and you make them with the. With all nine uh, different types of essences. So, so in talking about the essences, uh, the essences you actually find them in dungeon chests. Like you find them, in, in you find them as loot in uh, chests, like in dungeons or sand temples. You know that kind of stuff. But now here comes, but now here comes the uh, the testing of these uh, swords. So, okay, if Okay. Okay. So basically, so it it it, it sets mobs on fire. And wait, the steam sword. I thought. Oh, so it, it throws mobs. So, so, so it throws uh, mobs into the sky, making them take fall damage. So, so this is basically the seam sword, and uh, yeah, th uh, never mind. You know what? what? Let me put the seam sword away. Uh, the meteoric, no, actually, yeah, the thunderstorm sword, and then the meteoric thunderstorm sword later. See, I'm. See, I'm trying to range. Okay, so th the thunderstorm sword. Man, this sword is powerful. You you see the effects of it. Let's see here. Uh, let me 
Turn that creeper into a charged creeper. Oh yeah, and it does the same thing as a wind sword. Um, as it propels you forward, like the other oh, wind likes. Oh no, 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 never mind. But it propels you forward instead of up, which is kind of cool. Let me let me remove the effect. Okay, so 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 um, here's and you can hit the like mobs very far away as well. So so now there are the ender like swords right here. So there's ender fire, ender wind, and ender thunder. So so you can hit the zombie like this, or you can. And you can teleport. You know, it's kind of cool how you can how you can do that sort of stuff. Where's the chest? Okay, hold on. Some something is okay. There we go. For some reason, it the game just froze me there. But and the inner wind sword. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let let me. There we go. Okay, so it gives spun, uh, speed and jump boost, um, along with a little bit of regeneration, so they can recover your health. Um, so when you, so when you hit a mob with it, wow, you hit them very far away. Uh, let me remove. Uh, let me change back to nice sign so that I can show you. Um, so that's the Ender Wind Sword. I want to put this back. And a thunder. So basically, so basically you can. So basically you can help our while having thunder land, and it gives you speed as well. So there we go. I finally turned this creeper into a charged creeper. Okay, so. Okay, so. Let me remove the effects and uh come on. Uh seriously, I don't know what's this bug here, but you know. Anyways, now in the thunder, uh so in the fire and the wind and there's thunder, and now the time sword. So this one is especially is especially useful for uh Okay, so it gives mobs the wither effect, and when you right click, you actually get night vision, and you change the time of the time of day. So that that's actually really cool. I, I'm actually going to keep the sword for now, so that I can change the time, just so I don't have to keep doing the whole command thing. You might not be able to see my hand, but you know, it it's what it is. Okay, so uh, so the meteor thunder. A thunderstorm sword. So basically, it's so basically you can hit the zombie and it hits the zombie very far away. Actually, let me. There we go. So it hits the zombie very far away. You can right click. So you can shoot a meat. So you shoot a meter. Pro you propel yourself forward and and you and some thunder, which is. Which is cool. Um, let me do this because, th like, the Maya Chuck is actually almost ending. So, so uh, uh, the Tri Ender Sword. Now this one. Oh man, it's like the power of four out of the four, four of the swords combined. This is one sword that is, that should not be taken lightly. So, so propose the. So burns the zombie and propels it and like sends them off on a distance. Like and you can Yeah, so see? Gives you regeneration for a little bit and then speed and jump boost. And it gives you fire resistance for a long time as well, so So uh let's see here. Let me put this away. And actually, unfortunately uh the now, 
one more sword, which is the science sword. Yeah, this this sword is very powerful, but you know it burns a lot of added essences. You know, to be able to craft, and yeah, and yeah, this uh, this is basically it. So if you guys like, uh, hold on, um, and this okay, <laughs> hold on, okay, so and uh, this is. And this basically, and this basically it. So if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you want to be part of the TK Dragon Tamers, then subscribe to my channel. So you know whenever my new videos come up. And yeah, see you guys later.